Hi, it's me, JC, back with another Ceramic Hour live stream. We started glazing. Um, we've got, well, I'm calling these paint palettes, uh, but I have um, these ones, these have like a deeper well, and then I have um, like these other versions. I have like, not quite as deep of a well. I think you can see that with the shadows. And these are kind of good for like, I don't know, like maybe like jewelry or something. They look kind of cute for that. <sighs> these two, we put some wax on them. And then these two, we haven't worked on yet. Actually, let me put it upside down so it doesn't catch any uh, lint, dust. Yeah. Um, so we're still glazing this one. We haven't worked on this one yet. Um, so we are just going to... Uh, check out how our glaze is looking. I had to add a bunch of water to it yesterday. It's kind of, needs to be like mixed up a little bit. Um, oh yeah, this is the same little, I don't know what this is, some kind of carving tool or whatever. <laughs> Generally, if you have like um, like a bucket of glaze, something that's larger than this, you want to mix that like super thoroughly with like a mixer and stuff. I've heard from like so many people that's not necessary if you have like this small of a quantity. Um, but just so you guys know, because you don't want certain um, components of the glaze to, um, you know, you want the whole thing to be like, the stupid fly, uh, you want the whole thing to be like pretty even, you know, in like how the materials inside of it are distributed. You don't want any to just be on the bottom of the container and such. It's a little bit, I can feel like some, it's kind of clumping up. I don't know if it, this is really clumpy. I'm not really sure. I mean, I suppose I could like sieve it. It's so, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Do I have, um, yeah, I do have like, ugh, I guess we should probably like, do that. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so lazy. I hate like doing things like this. <laughs> okay, so I've got, actually I went to Georgie's and got some cute little containers that are empty. Um, let me see, where is my I think, I thought I just bought like a tiny one. Tiny, oh yeah, I did. Ugh, I knew this would come handy. <laughs> Where did I get this? Some like estate sale or something. <laughs> it was like, I don't know what it has on it. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, you're kind of supposed to do this if it has kind of like clumps and stuff. So we've got a little sieve sieve um and this is like i bought this specifically for um ceramics once you like use uh you know cooking utensils or measuring spoons like whatever like once you kind of use it for like ceramic things you probably shouldn't put it back in your kitchen um, just in case it, um, I don't know, kind of clung on to any kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> toxic materials. I mean, uh, especially, um, what we're doing here with, like, putting glaze on it. 
Um, if it's just straight up clay and there's nothing else in it, I mean, I don't know. It's probably, I don't think there's anything harmful in the clay, but definitely underglaze, glaze. <clears throat> Do I have like a little spoon or something? <laughs> I don't think I have anything that is spoon-like. I suppose I could use my little spatula. It has a little bit of clay on it, but I suppose it's... Maybe it's fine. See this little spatula? This is really perfect uh, for doing ceramic things with. Um, I don't really know where I want to put this. <laughs> And I just keep these with all my ceramic things so I don't mix them up with my normal cooking utensils. It's all just for safety, just in case. Um, can this even, is this even going to go through here? Is it going? <laughs> I didn't know if it's like really pushing it through there. And yeah, this is gonna break up all those clumps. Sorry, I know this is like pretty boring. I don't really wanna be doing this either. <laughs> it's so like, it's so thick. I don't even, I don't even know if it would like really go on my brush without me noticing it. <laughs> But I don't know, let's just mix this up. This thing is like the perfect size for doing this. I have another one, a little mesh sieves for my ceramic things, but I think it's quite a bit bigger than this, actually. I got this at like an estate sale. Estate sales are great if you just need, you know, Nothing special, just run-of-the-mill spatulas, extra, um, you know, tablespoons and such, um, or whatever. Um, it's been a hot minute since I did any, um, like, actual glaze mixing, like, like from powdered form and stuff. I can't, uh, I don't think we use tablespoons. Maybe to like scoop it around. Um, it's been a hot minute since I did that. Um, but yeah, if you just want something super cheap, just for art purposes, Highly recommend estate sales. They always have, you know, because people don't want it. People don't want someone else's like crappy, <laughs> like old, like decades old tablespoons. <laughs> They're probably gonna be really cheap. Um, or I don't know. On the lookout for, I've been kind of like checking some out specifically for well not specifically i'm always just looking for fun but i've been looking for like maybe like things i could use for like drying racks like um a lot of baking um things are great for ceramics um so you know like a large um drying rack for cookies or whatever like you put I suppose you probably don't put the pan on it but I don't know okay <laughs> I really haven't <laughs> used my bangs okay if you put like a cake you take the cake out of the pan and then you put it on the drying rack and it like um you know kind of 
cools down, the cooling rack or whatever. <laughs> um, but they're like mesh, so it's not so bad for like um, drying out your ceramic pieces. I don't know, things like that. It's like, who else is really gonna want that? <laughs> Probably not a lot of people. Um, and I don't know, who knows what you'll find if they're like, the state sale has like a lot of like bakeware and stuff and like cooking things, maybe even things for sculpting fondant a lot of um, I actually used to do um cake decorating when I was in high school it was just like f something fun that I did um and now I use those same tools to um, help me do like sculpting for my ceramics because I don't know they're just sculpting tools um so they are very useful um, cake decorators also use something that is, I don't know if they call it like a banding wheel, but, uh, for ceramic people, that's what you call it. Helps you just like turn the cake around, uh, very easily and they're pretty handy. I don't really know if there's like a huge difference in terms of like using a cake one for doing ceramics because I feel like the cake ones they're like plastic usually and like um probably a lot cheaper than the ceramic ones but I don't know if there's like a good reason not to, to use one for ceramics I mean maybe if your ceramic thing is like too big and like heavy or something, maybe I'll break it, I suppose, but I don't know. Um, yeah. This is kind of satisfying, I don't know. I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoy me um, sitting here sieving my glaze. Uh, I mean, this is kind of like what you're supposed to do if it's all clumpy, so can't complain if, uh, if I don't, if we have, what am I even saying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like if I didn't do this and then we had problems with the glaze or whatever, cause whatever materials were like stuck in the clumps. Um, I don't know, whatever. Hopefully we don't have any issues <laughs> now that I am actually doing this the right way. I think typically you don't need to do this unless you actually see an issue in your glaze. Like this was like, there was like no moisture in the glaze when we opened it yesterday. And I had to add like a bunch of water to it and it was like super clumpy. But otherwise, I don't think you would really need to do this. I feel like that's pretty typical to see glazes like dry out too, if they're kind of old. Um, I've had some where, I don't know, I don't even know like what to call it. Um, but the glaze, um, like materials and stuff completely separate from the water and like I'll open up a glaze and like there'll just be water on the top and then it's just like this solid hard mass at the bottom of the uh, container. I don't know if there is anything like wrong batch wise with <laughs> when I see those or something um but I have seen that with like newly purchased like never it's never been opened glazes <clears throat> Thank you. 
I wonder if this could have fit in my smaller container. <laughs> I have a smaller container, but it's like, I don't know, it's pretty small, so I don't know if it would have fit. <laughs> Oh, breaking news. Um, if you haven't heard, um, Mako, who, um, so Mako um, is pretty well known for like their glazes and such. Um, they make under glazes and all that, you know, they make ceramic things. Um, they bought Duncan Ceramics some time ago. Um, and you may be familiar with the Duncan Overglazes. So like, um, your gold lusters, the white gold luster, mother of pearl, they're actually discontinuing it. Um, everybody is like freaking out. Um, <laughs> I keep saying it on like, um, on Instagram. People are talking about it. People are talking about it on Reddit. Everybody's like freaking out and like buying tons of bottles of it. Um, right now I, I have like, I actually, okay, I do have some, but I haven't used it yet. I haven't used any, I haven't done any like overglazes at all. Um, but I'm like, I'm not really sure like why people are freaking out about it. Like people are going to like their local ceramic stores or wherever, I don't know, eBay, um, maybe online ceramic stores and buying out like, I don't know, like two year supplies or something of like gold luster. I mean, particularly a lot of people really like the gold luster. Um, there too, but I don't know. I'm assuming the like premium one. Um, but I'm like, I asked Reddit, so hopefully I'll get some answers. But I'm just like, aren't there other brands that make overglazes? Like, are they really that bad in comparison? Like, why is everybody like rushing to buy, you know, like a two year supply? of this, you know, like, I don't know. I kind of feel like it would be the same, <laughs> but I guess I, like, I really don't know though. So, um, I don't know. I'm just checking out the forums. Um, if you go to Mako's Instagram, they have, they actually have like two posts about it. One's a video where some I don't know. I think the guy is like talking about it or whatever. Some guy at Mako. And then um, they also kind of have like a, you know, like a paragraph or whatever of kind of like why they chose to do this. Um, um, I didn't really understand like what they were saying so I don't know you can just go and read it uh for yourself um but I think they're saying something about their new like health and safety regulations or something that need to be put in place or I don't know what they were saying um but they're saying something about that they needed to like, if they're going to continue it, they had to, like, redo their packaging and they would have to, like, reformulate those um, overglazes that they offer. I don't know. They're saying something about that. They would have to redo a bunch of stuff. And because it's such a small portion of their business uh, compared to all the other things that they offer, they didn't want to do that. 
I th that's what I interpreted. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what they're <were> saying. <laughs> Maybe that video. I didn't watch the video that they posted. Um, I just saw that it was up. But I don't know. Maybe that makes more sense. Um, wow. Gosh. This looks like... It looks like a milkshake <laughs> like it looks like so good <laughs> you know like just freshly mixed or whatever um it's like that exact like consistency okay let's just um I don't know, I'll put this off to the side somewhere. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, um, in that one post, Mako had, they kind of left a few like recommendations of like alternative, um, let me see, what, which one do I want to use? Um, alternative uh, overglaze uh, providers um, in their, um, in that like text post um it's it has like a big picture that says like product update or something um super easy to go check out right now um so yeah i have like i have no idea like um if it's really a big deal or not or if those like other ones, uh, I didn't recognize one that they mentioned, but they did say like Laguna makes, um, they make overglazes. I like Laguna, I don't know. <laughs> I, I use some of their glazes. Um, the, um, the store that I buy my ceramics, the local one here, um, particularly was selling the um those Duncan overglazes they don't sell the Laguna ones so that's really the only reason that I haven't tried the Laguna ones other than the fact that I haven't tried <laughs> I haven't even like tried the ones that I bought <laughs> let me see maybe I should like how can I what is this <laughs> Also, I don't know why this looks so dark. Should I change this setting? Okay, it's not getting brighter. Two yellow, two blue. Okay, I guess that's the neutral one. Um, um, but yeah, I've like, I don't know. I have no idea if the, there's anything wrong with the Laguna one, like why? people don't want to buy it other than like the possibility that's not available in certain like countries or whatever like other than that like is that <laughs> i don't know is that the thing <laughs> is that why no one wants to buy them because buy from them because they can't or like <laughs> i don't know um but yeah everybody is kind of up in a roar about people are very upset and people are like dashing to like buy tons of this stuff also like I think people are like overcharging for it too like on ebay or something <laughs> Or like, you know, wherever they're selling it. Maybe like Facebook Marketplace. They're selling the overglazes and they're like upcharging on them because they know everybody is like 
rushing to buy them. I don't know if the like ceramic stores are charging more, but like typically the tiny little bottle that you get for um the gold is like, I don't know, it's like 80, 90 dollars. Um they say a little goes a long way with it. Um, also, it is real gold. It's um, it's just like gold and it's like suspended in, I don't know, whatever. It's just suspended in this stuff. And then when you put it in the kiln, that other stuff just kind of burns away. And then you just, you're just left with that gold um, applied to the piece. Also, that's why um, if you put gold ceramics, like, in the microwave, they will, um, you know, like, spark and stuff. And you're, like, not supposed to put them in there. <laughs> it's because it's, it is real gold. Um. <clears throat> but I don't know. I'm, like, I don't know. Should I go buy some? <laughs> Should I go buy some more? <laughs> Even though I haven't even used the <laughs> the bottles that I have. That is like so me. I just, I love buying like art supplies. I have so many. I have way too many art supplies. I don't know. I don't know if we have any other ceramic news. That's definitely what everybody is talking about right now. That's a lot though. Like, so one bottle is like $80. And people are going out and buying, like, a two-year supply of that. I don't know, like, what that looks like. Like, how many bottles that would be. But it sounds like it's probably a lot of bottles. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, this sounds very expensive. <laughs> I don't know how much people are upcharging, but I heard that people are charging a lot for what they have. If you didn't watch the video yesterday, I'd like to note that this glaze is super weird and they don't normally brush on like this. Um, like, I don't know why. This one is just... It's like, as soon as it touches the piece, it just instantly dries. And you can't, like, you really can't, like, brush it on, really. Not, um, you know, it doesn't, like, stay, like, wet. It's just, like, super weird and, like, very chalky. Um... I really have no idea if that is normal for this glaze. I really haven't, like, I don't have, like, a ton of experience with, like, brush-on glazes and stuff. So I really have, like, no idea if anybody <laughs> wants to, like, let me know <laughs> uh, if I'm supposed to, like, I don't know, do something to this glaze so it's, like, not so weird. Um, but yeah, typically I have some larger fan brushes and I just, you know, it really picks up like a ton of glaze and I can very quickly just like slap it on and it is done. Like one coat is just done in like, seriously, like, I don't know, like five seconds. Um, and then this one is super problematic and I, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe like how it's coming at, like layering on here. I don't think the video is quite 
showing it, but you can really see how I have to kind of like go over certain spots because it just like clumped and they're just like not, it's just kind of like missing little holes of like glaze. Um, I'm gonna have to do like kind of like a very good like thorough look at it too when I kind of like finish this first coat to see um, if I missed any spots. I really don't want it to have any bare spots because I don't think this glaze moves very much. <laughs> it's really um, upsetting because <laughs> it's like my favorite glaze to use. Um, and it's such a like problem child. <laughs> I guess it just dries like instantly as soon as you put it on here. Um, and you, you really just can't even like brush it around. It just kind of like wherever you put it, it just kind of sits there. And <laughs> I don't know. You can kind of see like how uneven <laughs> this coating is. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard not to have any just, like, giant lumps. Um, but it's pretty hard with this one. I wonder how many coats we should do for this. Maybe just, like, two? I don't know. I mean, typically you'll put, like, probably three coats. On, but it come it like it goes on here like so thick though um, maybe I shouldn't do three three is just kind of generally what's recommended or maybe I don't know maybe some bottles might say like two or three What else? Do we have any news or anything? I don't think I really have any news. Okay. Let me take a look at this thing and kind of like dab some spots that are missing some glaze. <laughs> look how uneven this thing is. Like that coating is just like <laughs> It's like really horrendous. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know. I really have no idea like what should be done about that. Cause like adding more water to this glaze does not help 
<laughs> in that regard. <laughs> it's just like a weird thing that's happening. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure if it's really a big deal. Maybe this is why it doesn't turn out like... <laughs> It's supposed to be like a kind of like a white glaze, but it has like little transparent areas. I wonder if that's because of like how clumpy it is. Because like it's, you can actually see like through it in certain spots and then other spots have like, um, it's kind of like, it's not spotted. Like spotty, spotty. Um, but, like, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, it's just that, like, some little parts um, are more white and then some are more, like, transparent. I wonder if that's because of this, like, very uneven, like, application <laughs> that is going on. I don't know. I feel like it's probably something to do with it. This thing is really tricky because I really have to like turn it like all around to all kinds of angles to make sure I'm getting a very good coat and I'm not missing any areas. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, my other palettes, I put, like, a satin white on them, and I'm pretty sure it acts exactly the same as this. It's, like, super clumpy, um, really hard to apply for these palettes, but I'm, like, um... I don't have like, I don't know, I don't really have like that many options. This one's like pretty, it's a pretty white glaze, but it just kind of has like a nice little hint of like pinkish purple kind of. Not, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it because I think it's more of like an optical, um, like optical mixing with the clay body kind of poking through. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I mean, I feel like if it's a paint palette, it should be like, it should probably be white. Um, and this is like, um, this is more of a watercolor palette. So watercolor is, um, you know, typically pretty transparent. So you're going to see through to the palette. So the palette should probably not be colored. Um, otherwise, like for the ones that I was kind of feeling like they could be like little jewelry dishes. Um, I mean, those could be colored, but I don't know. Um, I do think this, like, off-white is really nice. So I think I'm going to do them all in this same color. Because I don't think you would want to take away from the jewelry. You know, if you're kind of, like using it to like store your jewelry you don't really want it to like take away from it you kind of want it to just be like um 
probably a subtle thing. I do need to take like a closer look at it without the camera <laughs> like in my face um but we can just kind of like um dab some glaze onto this one we haven't um we haven't looked on this one maybe i should take some glaze from this thing Is everybody excited for fall? I'm kind of like, um, I'm more of a summer person. Like I love the things that you can do in the summer, like going to the beach. Um, I love going to the beach. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's like the main thing. Um, I don't know, just like nice, warm, sunny weather. I don't like, you know, clouds or rain. Um, I feel so energized when the sun is out. Um, and I'm a pretty tired person. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't even know the last time, like, I woke up and I felt, like, awake. I'm just like, I wake up from, like, a four-hour nap and I'm, like, still tired. <laughs> I think there's something wrong. <laughs> um, I think, also, side note, I think the most I've slept, like, in a single day, I think was, like, 15 hours. <laughs> Also, that was probably, like, that's, like, an estimate um, for, like, if I think I was sick. So I typically will sleep, like, 12 hours if I'm sick, but then also have a nap. Um, so that's, like, a three-hour nap plus um, 12 hours at night. <laughs> I feel like that's very doable for me. I often sleep for 12 hours. Um, no, I really don't know if that's normal. It's probably not normal. Um, but I also don't really want to go to the doctor about it. So just going to be very sleepy all the time. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, that's why I don't really like the fall or winter because it's so gloomy and dark and cloudy and it's just like I don't feel like doing anything except take a nap but it's like you know like at the same time I'm like I need to do the dishes I need to do whatever clean the house and then I just like don't feel like doing it and then I just take a nap and then when I wake up, I'm not even energized enough to go and do those things that I said I needed to do. <laughs> um, but I do love Halloween and I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm almost getting in the mood for like fall and Halloween. We've been playing, um, uh what's that called like hogwarts legacy so you know lots of witches and monsters and very halloween well you know just 
I just feel like it's kind of like Halloween. Um, you know, all the Harry Potter stuff, and then, um, um, I'm showing Jason, uh, Sabrina. We watched that old, like, sitcom-y one, um, the live action one, and, but then I was, like, also telling him about the, wait, no, they're both live action. <laughs> wait, no, there is a, there is an animated one, okay? <laughs> we haven't watched that one. <laughs> um, that one's very, like, cartoony. Um, but now we're watching the new, like, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, what's that even called? I don't know. I don't know what that one's name is, but the new one that, like, came out, like, I don't know. When did it come out? Like, a couple years ago or something? Um... And it's very, um, I feel like that really gets you in, like, a Halloween mood. Because they're very, like, um, like, the old one wasn't very, like, Halloween or, like, it really wasn't very witchy. <laughs> and this one is, like, um, I don't know, it's actually, like, it's starting off, like, in the fall and they go apple picking and they're picking out pumpkins at the pumpkin patch and um it's i'm not going to say it's cold here but it definitely was colder than it has been um so it's just kind of like okay i feel like i'm kind of getting in the mood for that except I don't know the fall is so crazy because it's so crazy for work with Black Friday um and I don't know trying to think of what we're gonna do for Halloween are we gonna get make costumes or something are we having a Halloween party uh, my birthday is coming up and I'm like, what are we going to do for that? Um, and then, um, of course, like, buying all these things for, like, uh, buying Christmas presents for uh, my family is, like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of fun, but it's also, like, stressful at the same time because I'll be, like, shopping and I'm, like, okay, this is pretty good, but I'm like, could I do better? Like, could I find something cooler, you know? Because I'm like, um, I don't know. I'm just like a pretty, I would say I'm a pretty big, like, gift giver. Like, I would feel really bad if somebody didn't like their present. So, like, I want, I want to do, like, a good job and, like, you know, find something awesome because, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> like, definitely, like, if my mom didn't like what I got her, like, she definitely would not say that. <laughs> so I'm like, I have to, like, you know, I have to get something really great or whatever. And then her birthday is also coming up. So I have to buy her something for her birthday and for Christmas. And I have no idea what I'm going to get. It's a little bit easier when you, like, live with people because, you know, they say, like, my mom always would, like, complain about things. Like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Something about the coffee maker. Or, um, oh, she was, like, it was actually kind of funny. She was complaining about the toaster. Um, or something. Something about the toaster. It was really funny because me and my brother both got her a brand new toaster for Christmas because she was like always like talking about it. Um <clears throat> But now like I don't know I don't know what her <laughs> I don't know what her problem points are. Um I don't know. <laughs> 
because I'm just like not really around um, to hear that stuff anymore. So I don't know. I just feel like it's trickier when you don't like live with someone. And I try to get my mom to like make, I don't know, maybe like a little like wish list kind of thing. And I'll like, I might like choose a couple of things off of there and then like get her stuff that, um, you know, some surprise things. Um, but... I don't know sometimes she's just like oh I'd love it if you made something for me and I'm like like what <laughs> like what was that one thing was that last Christmas she gave me like I think she gave me like a two-week notice <laughs> that like she wanted something ceramic and I was like that's not enough time. <laughs> I was like, I need at least a month because it needs two weeks to be in the kiln. Um, as far as like how fast my studio will fire things for me, I need at least two weeks for the two kiln firings. That's minimum. And then time to like make it, time for it to dry out completely time to you know glaze under glaze decorate it so that's like I don't know I mean that's at least a month maybe a hint more depending on like I don't know what else I have going on um you know so I'm like I need you know I need a good amount of time to <laughs> to do stuff um especially because like ceramic stuff is so like you you can't rush it you can't like whoops sorry i don't know what the heck my mouth just did <laughs> that was not a fart um <sighs> like you can't rush the drying process or else it's probably gonna break you know it's gonna crack or something probably um you i can't i literally i can't do anything about how long it takes my studio to fire things for me you know so that's like it, just a lot of things like are just completely out of your control i'm like if you were like i don't know like if you're a painter or something you know like a lot of those things are things that you can do unless you're like I don't know, getting it framed by some place. Um, I don't know. Sorry, they're like vacuuming our hallways, so they're kind of like um, making some noise in the background. Hopefully it's not like loud or anything. They're kind of like I'm not gonna say like bashing the door, but um, something along those lines. They're just vacuuming. <laughs> do, do, do. I don't know, this is kind of like, it's very like, Kind of like relaxing. I mean, I'm kind of stressed about the fact that this glaze looks super weird and does not make me feel confident about how it's going to turn out. But otherwise, I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Um, I'm not going to say it's like a paint by number, but I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's something. It's just kind of like, okay, just like tap the glaze around try to make it even don't have to do too much you know 
focusing or anything. It's pretty easy to do. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's two o'clock now, so we'll have to end our stream here. So for anybody watching on Twitch, um, be sure to follow along so you know when I come on for videos or reschedule. Um, we stream Monday through Friday from one to two p.m. Pacific time. Um, and then all of the videos are uploaded to Twitch or <laughs> uploaded to YouTube at Callie and Co. Um, there I have a whole live stream playlist if you want to watch all the videos because um, they're deleted from Twitch after a week. Um, <clears throat> um, and yeah, the YouTube has um, it's mostly the live stream, but I do have a few tutorials on there if you'd like to check it out um and we have a few other um just kind of like art related things small business related topics on there too if you want to see it so be sure to follow along subscribe give the video a thumbs up leave a comment all the things um and yeah um I suppose we're probably just going to continue um, glazing, under glazing. I want to get these palettes done. Um, but I think after that, I do have like, I have a vase, a mug, a planter. What are those like cups or something off to the side here? I have a few things over here that we could just like, I have to like think about like what, uh, what I want to do, uh, like for the glaze or underglaze on them, but we could work on those on the stream probably. Um, I don't really have like too many, but we have a decent amount to like, to work on. And we have those other two um, little pink palettes off to the side here as well that I haven't started on. Um, well, um, thank you so much for joining and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.